Hi, thank you for joining MicroStrategy demo. We now we're gonna discuss is where is MicroStrategy? Which all location, which all domain is the MicroStrategy can support? MicroStrategy are used across almost all the domains. Either it's a retail, banking, gaming, manufacturing, telecommunication, healthcare, and so on. So it's not the microstrategy is not any uh, kind of a data specific. It's not kind of a domain specific. It supports each and every across all the domains. So even if you have, if you're working in a company which is a retail, which has all the retail information, microstrategy really works with that particular domain. It can showcase any kind of a data uh, at any point of time within uh, at uh, any specific format. So the microstrategy is used across almost all the domains, whatever the domains you can think of. It's there in the healthcare, it's there in the education, it's there in the oil and gas, even in the gaming, banking, everywhere. As we know, the microstrategy is used across all the domains. It's not only used across all the domains, even if I look from the job opportunities, it's everywhere. So if you look over here, we have just listed down few of the uh, you know, the regions, the countries where the microstrategy is really working good. But trust me, microstrategy job opportunities everywhere, each and every location. Either it's a US, UK, Singapore, India, the APAC, UAE, New Zealand, Canada, everywhere. So microstrategy supports all the domains you can you can really create all your reporting all your dashboards data reports documents everything on top of any kind of a data there is no restriction as such and microstrategy really works very good microstrategy with from the performance perspective as well it, it supports any kind of a data when I say it uh, going to show you the data very quickly as per the formatting that you have set it out and from the job opportunity perspective, microstrategy is really every, is really everywhere. So even if I say it's uh, it's not only that uh, you look from only the location specific. We have just just listed on a few countries over here, but it's really booming everywhere across the globe. I, we have even I've just uh, showed you the job trends. If you look over here, which I have listed from the you know 2006 to 2015, and if you re if you look over here, it really gives you the uh, the percentage of uh, uh, microstrategy positions throughout the 10 years. And if you look over here, the chart really looks good from the job opportunity perspective for the microstrategy. At the below graph as well, we are showing you the role-wise comparison. It's not that you know, uh, it's only a, a it's a role-specific. So it, it's not that if you if you want to work as a microstrategy developer, only then only you're gonna get a job. No. If you look at the below chart, we have really break down the role-wise comparison as well, and uh, based on the percentage, you, you can you can just you know go through any kind of uh, uh, role. Uh, there is a, you, you can work as a microstrategy developer, microstrategy administrator, microstrategy specialist, microstrategy lead, microstrategy architect, and even if you look over here, even the microstrategy consultant has a good chunk of percentage. So if you ask me from the role wise of comparison, micro you can you can just learn anything about the microstrategy. You can perform any role of the uh, for the microstrategy, and uh, you can really have a good opportunity from the good job opportunity. So the micro strategy uh, supports all kind of data, all kind of a domain. Micro strategy is everywhere and from the job perspective we have really shown you the trends and the role wise comparison. There's something also to discuss about the costing. As we know the micro strategy is really a costly tool. Within the micro strategy, we have various components. We have the desktop component, we have the web component, and so on. So whenever you are working on a micro strategy, you really have to purchase each and every component so that you know you can really work on that and you can use all its feature. So we have just listed out a few of the components, and either it could be a per user license or it could be a entire. CPU based license. So if I look from the desktop perspective, we have around like the micro strategy charges around $600 per, per 
user. So I, that depends on how what kind of a license you uh, purchase it. Either it's an enterprise level, um, it could be at the user base level or at the CPO core. So microstrategy. If you're working on a microstrategy desktop, it's it's a per user license, which going to cost you around six hundred dollar per user. And same thing, like if you're working on a web, either it could be a six hundred dollar per user or three hundred thousand per CPU CPU core. Same for the mobile. And if you're if you're if you're working as a microstrategy architect, it's something around five thousand dollar per user. And that's the reason. Yeah, I'm like you know this is something that is going to really differentiate where how exactly you're going to fit in within the micros. Uh, what kind of role you're going to actually perform within the uh, when you're working on a microstrategy. You can perform as you can you can work as a microstrategy architect. You can work as a microstrategy developer, the administrator, the mobile uh, administrator, the mobile developer. And so on. So whatever the uh, requirement you have, you have you need to make sure that you purchase that particular component, and thereafter you can use all its feature. Just to deploy the MicroStrategy server, it costs around twelve hundred dollar per user, or you need to pay around six hundred thousand per CPU core. So that depends upon the organization to organization how exactly they need to maintain the server and the other components of my. Start. Okay, so this is something that we really looked out is of why, which all, which all kind of a domain that MicroStrategy supports, where all location MicroStrategy is, uh, you know, it's booming up. How is really the job trend? What kind of a role? And uh, based on that, we even saw the uh, job percentages based on the role. And we even saw what are the licenses, what is the cost of the licenses for each of the component that we have in the MicroStrategy. Thank you so much for joining in.